what is the one piece of advice that you wish that every author listening to this would take to heart and put into practice because it's going to make them more successful? Hmm. Hmm. I, I know the hardest whole question list for last questions, but I didn't know this was <laughs> the one we were going to end on. Um, so what is the one piece of advice that I wish everyone would um, every author would take to heart that you feel would would make them more successful in their career? You know, I think it's, there are many ways I could answer this question, but I think one of them is having confidence in your writing. That doesn't mean having overconfidence or, you know, being um, like having false bravado, but believing in your work. If you don't believe in your work, it's going to be very hard to make me believe in your work, to make another agent believe in your work, to make an editor, a sales rep, a bookseller, a reader believe in your work. And I do feel like I have a lot of queries that come into my inbox in sort of this quivering state saying, do you think this could maybe kind of sort of one day, hopefully become a story? And I understand that because it comes from that that place of like, this is my creation and, and there's a lot of emotion in it. I also get um, queries that come into my inbox, um, largely from men, that come with a very different tone, which say, you know, subject line is usually something like the 2022 Caldecott winner, uh, instant New York Times bestseller, <laughs> uh, and you know, proceed from there to, with, you know, as, as high an opinion um, as that sounds. I think there's a place between the two. And I think, um, Showing showing up with a confidence in what you've created um, is is part of the process because there's a lot of things in the publishing process that will make you doubt yourself, um, whether that's rejection, whether once you're published it's bad reviews or um, people not understanding it or, you know, any number of things. There's a lot of things that can happen to shake your confidence. And so I think doing um, what you can to, I, I guess it goes back a little bit too, to knowing why you're telling this story, what is the heart of it to you? What is the intrinsic thing that, that makes it matter to you and that you hope will also make it matter to young people. Because I think that is one of the things that's incredibly unique about our industry. Um, and I see it e even on, on the adult side of the industry is very different. They're, they're primarily writing for an audience of other adults, they're writing as entertainment. Um, and there's a lot of ego at the center of it. Um, I think that writing for children and young people and teenagers, there's a different purpose at the heart of it. And we are writing for ourselves, certainly. We're sometimes writing or, or illustrating for the reader we once were. Um, but I think that intention um, demands a responsibility. And it can't be all about you as the creator because the kid who's gonna pick that book up and be changed by it, and that's going to become the book that shaped who they were as a human forevermore, they matter even more than you do as an author. And you have to somehow have calibrated yourself to be okay with that, to have the confidence to say, I believe in this, but I believe in, in my audience even more. So um, I think confidence and intention. What uh, genre can I write where all that matters is, is me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I dare to answer that. Um, marketing email copy. How about that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Molly, remind uh, esteemed audience where they can find you online again. Yes, you can find me at mollyonealbooks.com. You can find the agency at rootliterary.com. You can also find me um, on Twitter as Molly underscore O'Neill. You can find me on Instagram as Molly O'Neill Books. Perfect. And you can always find me, esteemed audience, at middlegradeninja.com. Head over there, read hundreds of uh, interviews with literary agents, authors, publishing professionals, anybody you'd want to you'd want to see face seven questions. We've got them there. Uh,